Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another trophy pushing video inside of Clash Royale, where we're eight trophies away from 6,000 inside of the game, and taking a look at the leaderboard, we're actually only a little bit away from the top 200. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to break into the top 200 inside of Clash Royale, scrolling all the way down to the bottom. It's 6,059 to make our way there. Uh, so just a little bit over 60 trophies, I guess 67 should be pretty close to about three wins. I guess if you got two really good battles for like 39 trophies each. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Three wins is what we need to make our way inside the top 200. And I actually made my way inside of the top 200 uh, the other day when I was streaming, which was super nice. I was at 6,026 and I ended up getting to like 190 in the world or something like that. It was super fun. I tweeted on Twitter. So let's go ahead and do this today. See if we can pick up some more wins and uh, maybe crack into that top 200 spot. It's uh, It's been a lot of fun these last couple of days, just streaming and playing a bunch uh, towards the end of the season. I finally was able to crack my way back inside of the top 200. Let's see if we can continue that right now. Hopefully we get some good battles and I'll be back in a second with battle number one. Here we go. Battle number one against Gustavo. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this one rolling. I don't know if I have the best starting hand. Necessarily don't see a giant in sight, but I'll just go ahead and start with my Night Witch. Looks like we could be playing some sort of uh, bait deck. So I'm going to be a little bit cautious whenever that needs to go down. Let's go ahead and get our log going down right here against the princess. Just trying to make sure we wait as long as possible before we try to take her out. Bouts are going to be able to do work against this Mega Minion. And uh, that should be the end of that push right there. Now, keeping in mind, we don't know exactly what this guy's playing. We're going to just go ahead and use our giant right here, plus the miner. See if we can get a little bit of damage. There goes the cannon. Looks like the e is going to do its best. Uh, Zap's not going to be able to provide too much value. At least the goblins will be close to dead. And at this point, we've got to be ready for some sort of counter push. Looks like it's not happening. And that miner's going to keep on chipping away at that tower. So at this point, got to count how much elixir we have. But look at that miner. That miner is doing so much work right there. And uh, we're going to have an 1100 HP lead. Let's just see where the HP lies right now. Goblins to be able to clean up this princess fairly quickly as well as try to get a little bit of chip damage as well. We'll drop the E-Wiz onto this Hog Rider. Nicely done right there. Should have no damage right there for that Hog, and uh, he's going to have to defend with a Mega Minion. Perfect start to the game. I think we're doing really well as, as far as Elixir goes, so I can get ready with my Giant momentarily. And uh, this is exactly what we want. I should be able to get a really good value Fireball on both the Cannon as well as maybe some Goblins, uh, maybe something like the Archers. Sometimes a lot of people run Archers inside of the deck that this guy's running. I haven't seen him yet. I would imagine that I would have seen him already. Uh, but here we go with the Night Witch. Goblins are going to start moving and grooving down the lane. I do have Log to clean up those. And then, oh wow, we actually missed the... Uh, yeah, that was a little unfortunate right there. Let's go and fireball this princess. This should be nice value. Take a look how much HP is left on this giant right here. The Night Witch still has a little bit of HP as well. It should die though. Oh, we were so close to getting some serious, serious damage right there. Looks like we're going to have to deal with the Miner chipping away. Waiting to see what he does. I've got the giant going down in the back. Mega Minion should die without a hit, I'm hoping. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play these right here. Boom, boom. Kill that Hog Rider, please. And that should be the end of that push. Only, oh, I did get two hits, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, we should be able to make do. Let's go ahead and do this over here. I'm going to do Log over here. Got to make sure we keep that Princess ticking. Miner's going to go down in the same spot. I keep playing it in the same spot over and over and over again, which is really bad by me. I'm going to go ahead and get ready with my e -Wiz for this Mega Minion. Maybe we can stop it and let my Giant do something. But it looks like instead... Oh, the Miner's going to just die with a little bit of HP. Looks like we'll get some bat damage. But guys, this is turning into a full-on brawl. Let's use this right here. Let's go ahead and zap all of this. Don't want this... Oh, I missed the Hog Rider with the zap. That's a little bit unlucky right there. Let's use a Miner towards the very top. Should be able to Fireball this down. Night Witch is approaching too. He better watch that other tower because look at the bats. Look at the goblins. That tower should go fairly low. Oh, we're so close. And actually, that's going to be GG well played on this side of the map. That'll be win number one. Just what we needed to start off this video right here. Two more wins to get into the top 200. Let's see if we can do it. 19 trophies is all we're going to get for that battle. Wow. We got completely robbed, but luckily we knew it was going to take three wins from the very beginning. So let's go and get into the second one and see if we can keep it on. Now, my least favorite deck to play using this deck would be a deck that has the P.E.K.K.A. inside of it. Any of those P.E.K.K.A. matchups are so rough and so annoying that I really don't like going against them. I do have some good counters to three musketeer uh, bait or three musketeer heal as well. Uh, so I can deal with those, although I don't really like playing those that much because a lot of the times I might have to drop like e -Wiz plus zap onto the minion horde and then fireball log the three musketeers. It turns into a spell cycle madness, but let's go and get into battle number two in a second, which is gonna be right now Turbo Beast YT. No need to clap my hand and skip all this time. 
All right, let's do this. Turbo Beast YT is going to be our next opponent. I have a feeling he's going to be throwing me a lot of BM. Uh, we'll get our Night Witch down the very back. Night Witch versus Mega Minion. What do you guys think? Night Witch moves so slow that I could get my e to back it up. Although, these bats might slow it down. Uh, he's going to go ahead and play this over here. I'll play Giant in a moment. Mega Minion needs to lock onto the Giant. It's going to lock onto the bats instead. For real? All right, let's do Miner up here. Ewiz is on the other side. We're looking pretty good right now. Ewiz is going to do a good job. Actually, it's going to miss that over there. Huh. All right, we got pretty stuffed right here. But meanwhile, on that left-hand side of the map, we did get some good damage done. And in fact, uh, it looks like he's actually going to miss out a little bit. And we will get some RNG having those bats help us out. Now, let's play our log right now. Enough to clean up this hog rider when we use this goblins right here. Is he going to play Zap? Doesn't look like it. All in all, not a terrible start to the game by any means. He's going to play a log right there. And this is going to be a battle, guys. This guy knows exactly what deck I'm playing. I can tell from how he's playing uh, that he's got a pretty good grasp of what we're doing. So let's get our Night Witch down right now. Clearly, he's going to want to go down this left-hand lane. Uh, so I feel a lot more comfortable playing down the lane that he wants to play against. So I'll just keep on getting ready. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play our Miner all the way up here. Not the best play. Okay, we'll play Log as well. So he's forcing us to play stuff we don't really want to play, but that's okay. But we'll have Bats or Zapped. Oh, the Night Witch! I shouldn't have Zapped! I shouldn't have Zapped. I played that so bad right there. I shouldn't have Zapped. I should have let my Night Witch keep going down that lane. So instead, instead of taking his tower or doing something like really good, uh, we're going to struggle a little bit right here. There goes his Princess. Don't care too much about her. We're going to get some good value over here. I'll play my Gop. I guess those goblins were completely pointless. I don't know what I was doing, actually. That was so bad. Uh, I'm actually going to fireball this princess because I knew that was coming. I am so good at predicting. Oh, that is perfectly done. Got to give him the cry face right there. Miner plus our uh, E-Wiz is going in. We're going to get some great minor damage right here, so I don't mind getting stuffed. And uh, as we keep moving, let's get our Night Witch down because I'm expecting a Hog Rider. There it is. There goes the Log. Hot log's going to miss my Goblin, so i got to throw another Cry Face out right there. Looking so good for us, guys. Let's go in E-Wiz right here. I'm actually not going to play anything uh, for this Miner. <laughs> See, he actually thought I was going to go under the tower. Nope, going to play it on that side right there. E-Wiz is going to get so close to taking that tower out, and all we have to do now is uh, end up not blowing this. Let's keep going. Uh, Night Witch is going to take a little bit more damage than what we wanted. There goes that right there. Night Witch is going in. Going to play Goblins right here. Ooh, he's going to get a good value right there. Let's go and play this right here. Trying to keep holding on. Woo! GG. He gave me a GG in the very beginning, guys, but that is going to be good game in our favor. Very nicely done. Throw a little cry face on the way back. That is win number two on our way to the top 234 trophies. That's the money I wanted right there, guys. One more win. 60-45. Take a look at the local, guys. We are number 25 in the U.S. And scrolling down, how many trophies do we need? One more look before we get this going. We are 60-58. 13 trophies away. Man, if I got 32 on that first win... I think I would have actually made our way there. That's super sad, but let's get into battle number three. One more battle to get this done, guys. I'm hoping we can get it done in this one. If not, you know I am an addict, and we will play a couple more battles until we can do it. And uh, let's get it done. I'm going to get back with you guys in battle number three right now. Yes, don't have to do it again. Ferris from Glory Makers, please, 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 please give us what we need. We actually have an amazing starting hand right here. Plenty of defenses, which is fantastic. I don't have my minor, which I wish I had, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get our giant going down. If he plays Hog Rider, we do have our Ewiz. He's going to play his giants. Okay. A little start to the game right here with this. I was hoping Bats could might be able to kill some of those minions. Doesn't look like it. We're just going to have to go with this push right here. Uh, okay, he's going to go with the Goblin Gang. We're going to go for a Miner on the other side. Very nicely done to hold on just a little bit. Log's going to go in on the Goblin Gang. We had to play it eventually. Oh, man, this is... If he has Heal Spell, we lose. We still lose. We still lose. Oh, guys, I blew it in the beginning. I blew it in the beginning, guys. I blew it. I blew it. I got greedy. And now we're down to Elixir. Please play something against my goblins, please. Oh, okay, guys. This is going to be a tough battle. This is going to be a tough, 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 tough battle. Minion Horde, we have to save Fireball 4. Did I use my Fireball previously on anything? I don't think so. So we got to make sure that we don't waste that under any scenario. Let's go ahead and get our Night Witch going now. This is going to be tough. Guys, sometimes you need to become a man. You need to become a man. Okay, I'm, I'm going to use Fireball right here because I'm a boosted animal. 
There goes our fireball. Uh, I don't want to use anything against this this musketeer. I'm just taking so much damage, guys. I'm taking so much. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm a boosted monkey, guys. I'm a boosted monkey. E was only hitting one minion. This is going to be such a hard comeback if we want to win this. Here goes a log right here. This is going to be so tough, guys. I have to take this left-hand tower. He's going to take my tower for sure with that giant push. I have to take this left-hand tower. And I'm telling you right now, it doesn't look pretty. It doesn't look pretty. I pooped my pants in the beginning of this game, guys. And uh, it still smells. So we're in we're in big, big trouble. Let's get our Night Witch going. I'm going to play Fireball again. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to have to suck it up and do it. And uh, meanwhile, I'm going to let this push go down right here. I'll let him take his damage with his fireball but now this is where we have to make dreams happen we've got this over here i've got ewiz trying to stop the minion horde the best that i can okay we need to stop the minion horde he hasn't played anything yet ewiz is still alive this is looking amazing he needs oh he didn't play minion horde yet but we're gonna be able to take this tower looks like we're gonna be able to make a little bit of a comeback right here i do have fireball once again to try to take him out and look at all this damage right here i'm gonna let that minion horde start running but let that minion horde run. We're going to go for this right-hand tower. We can fireball the minion horde if we have to. We can fireball it if we have to, which we will right here. Here is the Night Witch. We're going to get a nasty counter push out of this, guys. Do you believe in miracles? Do you believe in them? Do you believe in them? This could be the push we need, guys. This could be the push we need. Here goes our Ewiz. Here it goes. Ewiz, go in. Zap. I probably shouldn't have used that zap right there. Fireball in the minion horde, please. Please. Please get that damage right there with the miner. Is this going to be what we need? Is this where dreams are made of? We pooped our pants, but we ended up cleaning them before the battle is over. That's going to be a GG. Well played. I hope you enjoyed this push to the top 200. Fantastic stuff right there. I think my memory card's about to fill up. Oh, man. 28 trophies. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. But I got to save this. Uh, 6,073 scrolling all the way down. We're going to be in the top 200. What an amazing comeback for a great end to the video. 193 in the world, guys. That is gonna do it for the push to the top 200, and I'm gonna keep pushing before the season ends. I hope you guys check me out on the leaderboard. That is going to wrap it up for this episode, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.